Hello, my friends. Welcome to my office, my throne, if you will. Just a quick update. Uh, this will be the last video until I'm going to decide to have a week off over Christmas um, and also get set up for me twitchy stuff. Um, so this will be the last video until 30th of December and then we will just carry on as normal. Um, I am doing a Twitch stream on Christmas Day for people that want to avoid their families in the evening. Um, probably sort of 7 p.m., but keep an eye on my Twitter for that. Um, we're going to play some Darkest Dungeon, mainly, as I said, to get into the Christmas spirit so I can rename my characters after you guys and then kill you in funny and horrible, disease-ridden ways. So <laughs> make sure you, it'll be a lot of fun on Christmas Day. So if you just need a bit of a break from the festivities, come and have a watch. Right, we we went on a seven-game undefeated run. Four of those were draws, and then we've lost. So you could argue we've not won a game for five, but think of the positives. Ex gre greetings and salutations. <laughs> Excuse the giant lump of daylight, that horrible daylight stuff. Um, hang on, might be able to fix it. I haven't got curtains, so I've just got a blanket. Can't afford curtains, poor YouTuber money. Get in there, it's not helping, is it? Right, just deal with it, okay? Pretend it looks a bit like a giant dildo. But there we go. Um, greetings and salutations, welcome. We played a bunch of games, and it started off really well. A 5-2 win, lovely. Lots of goals from all the good players. And then uh, Nefertik and Himmick, we beat them 3-1. Fulmer, our left midfielder, who plays, so I talked to you about him playing as a striker as well, having good finishing ability. He scored, um, he's been on form. Then we had a little bit of a draw, a little bit of a slip up, but he scored another couple of goals. We then drew again, but we've had um, quite a horrible injury crisis. I've signed a new left back, unregistered one of the other left backs that with the broken leg. But we've had six or seven players out, five, about four or five in most games. So that's been a bit of a pain. Uh, that was a bad injury day for us. They had a man sent off as well, but still managed to equalise. Well, well, they scored 1-0. We got an equaliser, so Galahad. Then we beat, uh, drew with Torpedo. Then we uh, lost against Fackel. We went 3-0 down. Um, so Galahad had a goal, got injured, but he scored and Kotov scores. So I was like, okay. I don't really know what to make of our current form. I feel like if we these games we would have edged if it wasn't for the fact we had so many players injured. We then beat Shinnik Yaroslav in the cup, two all, and then we went to penalties. We had a man sent off quite early on in the second half. That's not early on in the first half. That's like as late on in the first half as you could get. Um, straight red card. Didn't even look remotely like a red card, but that's just the way it goes. Makev got himself a couple of goals. We won on penalties. We were hanging on for grim death. Uh, today we are playing Rotor, who are pretty crap, and then we're playing Nivzny Novgorod, who are third. They're favourites to win the league. They look really good. I've had a look at their key player, and he's it's a step up from us, isn't it, boys? <laughs> it's, there's, you know, and he's on five and a half grand. They, I think they were a relegated team last season. He's on five and a half grand a week. So, yeah. So today we've only got five players missing. Um, our main striker, um, our main left back, stroke centre back, our best left winger, our backup right winger, and our best one of our best young centre backs. So other and Diaz is knackered as well. This is our new guy, Pavel Shakudo Shakudo, um, who's a solid. If unspectacular, we didn't have any money to spend and only a, only a grand in wages. So this is kind of the best we could do. Um, he's been, uh, I think, pretty shit so far. Yeah, yeah, massive shit on a stick. So um, you've been, Patronus has been crap as well. Yeah. Weirdly, the goalkeeper's keeping us in a lot of games. After giving him a lot of shtick over the last year, Tur Turno has, has performed admirably this season. Right, uh, I'm, do I start? Mr. Conjure's been crappy, so... Oh, no, but Galkin's knackered, and we need him as backup striker. Um, we have to play... I would like to play Mitrogu, who's the our backup deep-line playmaker, but we need an under-21. So, yeah, I don't know whether it's, it's... It kind of feels a bit like last season. Start the season really brightly, banging in goals... But this time we're just drawing lots of games as opposed to um, losing them as we did last season. So it's a step up, but we're sitting in and around mid-table 
That's just way too many draws. Let's give them a bit of green juice. Get the green juice. Come on, boys. You need to win this one. They're, they're pretty rubbish. We're going to get smashed next game. So let's just get the three points today. Please. Uh, what I've discovered from this system is we create... We've got... Overall, we create more chances... Much better possession, obviously, um, and all that sort of good stuff. But all our chances, we get the occasional sort of, you know, clear-cut chance. But most of our chances seem to be sort of half chances, long shots and stuff. But we create a lot of them. And then the opposition won't create that many chances, but they'll have like four or five clear-cut chances. <laughs> Which is, you know, probably not ideal. <clears throat> I think in the in the once we get a few players back, I'm gonna have a have a think about changing up a little bit. It's, it's too it's too volatile. I could I could I could be okay with the, this volatility in this tactic if we were also creating a bunch of clear cut chances, but we don't seem to create a, a massive amount of good chances. So giving away three four clear cut chances every game is is pretty poor. Here we get, we, they're going to score now, aren't they? Get there, get there. There we go. Good tackle. Keeps. Oh, save. What a save, Turno. That's got to give him point one of a rating. Low down to his left. Right, Conja. Okay. Leon Jev. That'll do. That'll do, Conja. Go on. Go on. Yes. Hit it. Floated header off the crossbar. <clears throat> Come on, boys. So this is generally how it looks. We create more chances. They get the clear-cut one. They get the good ones. Which makes total sense for the way we play. High press with not the most skillful players in the world. Like that. Leave it, Loki, please. Oh, I've missed a goal. That's your fault, Loki. I was licking his foot. Okay, good. 18th in the league. Is this just going to be every season now? We start off brightly, we get excited, and then go to shit. No, we're going to win this game. I'm still confident. Shakuro. Kravstov. This is better. This is better. Take your time. Oh, for fuck's sake, people. We could go short of passing, but I'm not, I don't know if I trust my players. We might be good enough now. Go on, hit it. Yeah! The geography teacher bangs one in with his left foot. Mr. Conjure. Get in there, mate. First of the season. Solid performance. He's a good understudy now. It's, it's nice to have a decent backup. Magnum with the assist. And we're back in it. Right. This probably is not going to be a proper highlight. We've got 20 seconds. Oh, fuck off then. Woohoo! Nothing to worry about, boys. Okay. It's not good, though. It's not good enough. We're supposed to be top half. We should be beating, even away from home, a team that's in... I know we've got some injuries, but we still should be beating these teams. Is it bad to go double advance forward? All my players are better advance forwards. That's it. It's hard to get... It seems to be the easiest striker role to fill. Like, natural advance. That's like the standard striker, it seems. That's decent, though. Magnum. Okay, interesting touch. Oh, he's clever. He's played it off him. Go on. Kravstov, nod it down. Lovely little volley. Handball, surely. Don't matter, play on. Ah, oh, handball. Surely. <laughs> take it back. Ref, take, don't take it back. Can we have the handball? Damn it. Okay. So we've got uh, not great possession. Normal. Let's uh, have a little bit of get creative. Let's get creative. I hope you're all looking forward to Christmas and, or whatever holidays you do or do not celebrate. Because, you know, you've got to be all inclusive. <coughs> um, we're, I'm not, I'm in, I was going to go and see my mum for Christmas but I'm kind of in full money saving mode now. And so, you know, flights out to mum and then I'll probably spend a bunch of money when I'm out there and stuff. It's just, just can't really afford it now. So, cause I want to just save up 
Go on. Kotov. Oh, he tries to place it in the corner. So I thought, you know, we still get on. It'll be me and my ex-girlfriend for Christmas dinner. <laughs> it sounds weirder than it is, to be fair. We, we, get, on we get on great still. It's, I'm really lucky in that respect that even though we broke up, it was kind of, yeah, we were both okay with it. You know, it was a natural end to the relationship, although it happened weirdly. Oh, Jesus, come on, boys. Um, but we, we still go on great. We're still really good friends, so it's, it's, it's fine. Um... Okay, Androne for Slepov. Come on, boys. Come on, lads. We're the better side. We're the better side. We need this. Go on. Go on. Yes! Leonidas. That's what I've wanted to call him for ages. Leonidas with the goal. Get in there. Lovely little placed finished from the playmaker. From the... Playmaker? No, from the... Ball winning midfield. I know my players. What are you talking about? Kotov, Androne, Leonidas, back post. Go and hit it. Oh, he's not even. Oh, Mr. Conjure, though, pounces on it. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. See what I mean? I don't trust my players' passing ability. <laughs> That's better. Oh, Leonidas battles for it. Lovely. Kotov. Go on, boys. Come on. <clears throat> That's what we want. Let's go to the defensive one. Skip that shit. Tic Tacs. Pause. Do we have Mitroga? He's the playmaker. Which is not ideal. The box box. I mean, um, who do we want up top? Kotov's got the goal. All right. Um, Gerald, you do a job there, mate. Do a job. We can actually play you further, but that's a better way around. You have you as the box to box. Okay, 20 minutes left. We're two goals up against the poor team. We've hit the defence, so this is the no highlights tactic. Let's see if it goes. Yeah, see? It's kind of depressing that I'm good at making defensive tactics. <laughs> And not good the other way round. <laughs> well, this is a proper highlight. But it's late enough that even if they score, we should be fine. Turno. There we go. Lovely. Look, just keeping hold of the ball. Cravy. Mr. Conjure. Using his pace. Bags of pace. That's a lie. Look at him go. <laughs> I was going to try and defend that corner, but it's just terrible. Well, one thing that's missing in this game is that you never... I, I've never seen it. Let me know if you've seen this. I've never seen... When you've got time wasting on full, you're ultra defensive, etc., etc. They never just take it to the corner flag, do they? I don't think that's in... I don't think that's a part of the game. I want Mr. Conjure to go towards the corner flag and just try and keep hold of the ball. That would be perfect. <clears throat> right. Apukumov. Yes, we needed this because we're going to get smashed next game. What if we play the defensive tactic for the entire game next time out? We have scored with it. It's not like completely defensive. Is that really bad? Is that really negative football? Oh, I'm kind of in... I'm, it's not I think in my... I just want to see what it's like. That'll do. A bit of time wastage. I'm, I'm kind of interested. I, I'm, I think we might start it. It might be a good idea to start with the 4-1-4-1 and maybe get it to half time and then try and grab a goal because they are quite a lot better than us. It's at home though. Is that not a bit negative? I've really struggled to play negative football as you can see by the ridiculous nutty tactic we've made. Um, Leonidas. I appreciate that, boss. Right, so we're going to get any... So, so Galahad's out for shin splints for three months. He's out for five months with his broken leg. Cyril's out for three weeks with a twisted ankle. Mutilef is also got a twisted ankle. So, yeah, not many of them are going to come back. Okay, let's find out what we're going to play <laughs> when we get to the next game. Right, I think we're going to... I'm just intrigued. 
I'm going to play the defensive formation. Leonidas just got injured um, in training. Ankle ligaments out for a couple of weeks. So that's good. Good. Love that. Which kind of makes this a little bit harder, to be honest. Um, right. Je Jezza can play there. And Mitroga can sit there. We does mean we have two very much deep line playmakers. He's certainly... Can Kravstov play like anything? It's a good part. It's got a good tackling marking. So he, we can make him. Kravstov can be the ball winning mid. We'll make him a ball winning midfielder. Or we go go old school, a central midfielder, just because he's a natural. Go on then, mate, an all rounder. Um, and who do we go? We'll play the whoever's the form striker. Seven point one. Mac has 7.16. Go, Mackie. Mackie. Right. Okay. So we just another five players out. It's, it's about average so far this season. We've had four or five players out. Which is not idea. Mr. Conjures had a really good... His first good game in the season. Bagged himself a goal. Magnum has not done great, but had a better game. Got himself an assist. Um, Diaz is back, which is great news. Kotov can come off the bench. Galkin can play left mid if we need him. Androne can play anywhere on the right. If Magnum's having a, another stinker. Um, we've got another 21. We could play Danilov. No, I think. Okay. Let's do this then. I wanna, I'm just I'm in, I'm intrigued to see how it will go from the start. I very rarely play any sort of defensive tactic, <laughs> as you know. So let's go. This is where we go 2 0 down after 10 minutes and we're like, shit. Pick up where you left off, boys. I'm expecting a very dull first half, which I'd be okay with, to be honest. Okay, Diaz. Good ball, good ball. Good header from Kravstov. Not a bad start. <clears throat> uh, I'll put. Obviously, we're not expecting much possession. We're sitting back, inviting them forward, hitting them on the counter. Or just staying defensive. <laughs> Hoof it forward and then just stay defensive. <laughs> like, I think the perfect tactic would probably be somewhere in between the two. But, you know, nobody's got time to make another tactic. Who uses three tactics in this day and age? <laughs> like, good managers. I, yeah, I know the answer to that. All right. Yeah, here we go. That's exactly what I expected. Perfect. One highlight. There was a free kick. I'm tempted to just go again. We've always got a chance of nicking it. Like we could just go, just eke it up a little bit. Let's take that off. We'll take. Uh, I don't know. Let's keep the time wasting. We'll go. Let's keep with a more direct. Um. I'll keep that. We'll just change it ever so slightly. Ever so slightly. Hopefully, just keep it similar. And then last 20 minutes, we unleash the full force of this semi-operational football team. I could, if we just needed nil-nil draws until the end of the season, this is the perfect tactic. <laughs> Ball down the line, Makev. Come on, you've got, to, you've got to do more though, mate. Like, try. Okay. We've got two men with him. Somebody close him down. No. Good header away, though. Palenko's with it. To Makarov. St Andrew Strauss. Makarov. Ball over to Kostel. Yes! Look at that. Defending in numbers. Wait for the hoof. Oh, oh, oh. Like a young Jordan Henderson. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Unnecessary that was, mate. Defend. Defend! Defend! It might just be like a 30 yard bullet that gets in the breakthrough. Okay. Like, do we just take the draw? Nah, nah, we've got to go for it. I'm going to get 80. If we can keep it nil nil, 80th minute. Oh, hang. Oh, if he'd won that header. 
Oh, lovely clearance. <laughs> <clears throat> Tony Pulis is masturbating himself into a frenzy watching this game. It's glorious. Two banks of four. Lumped forward again. Mackey, what's he got? Ten defenders around him. Oh, that's a good... Oh, you chase it! Fucking go f chase it, you dickhead! That was not a bad ball! Oh, no! Is it going to be a mistake that leads to the goal? No, it's another long shot. We've survived again. <clears throat> See, they had no clear-cut chances. This is this is perfect. As soon as we go attacking, you know they're going to score, right? Like we all we all accept this now that I swap this over, and they go and score. Okay. Um. Yeah, we'll take Gerald off. Kotov. Um, I'm going to make you. Pressing forward. Um, we're going to put... So we've got Galkin on the left. How's Magnum? It's hard to judge their player ratings when we've played so defensively. Do we go attacking? Yeah, fuck it. We're at home. This is it. This is it. We're going to so concede. We're doing it. We're doing it. I probably should have let the highlight finish before changing it. <clears throat> that would have made logical sense. If they score, it doesn't matter. But <clears throat> come on, easy, easy for Turno, form player currently the goalkeeper. Right, this is it. Nothing's going to happen. I'm actually quite nervous about this. All oh, lovely. Ball forward. Cut off. Cut off. Yeah. <laughs> Boy. Rup, rup. Rup, rup. Right, back back to where we were. Take your positions. Um, anybody want to play as a DM? Uh, still better to have numbers in there, right? Like we might as well. Probably better to have. That's the youngster. He's a centre back. He knows how to play DM, right? It's just centre back, but further forward, isn't it? Okay. Have we completed the perfect tactical masterclass? The answer is no. Yes, yes. Come on, boys. Hey, hey. If you, I hope you've all been taking notes, my friends. That's how you do it. Oh, so that's how you play football manager. I've always wondered. Hey. <laughs> Quite, I quite enjoyed that. Am I actually going to build a third tactic? Could this be the year that Loki makes a tactic for when he's playing? No, fuck it. I'm going to adapt the four four two slightly. though. we need to. It needs to be fixed slightly. Um, I quite enjoyed the. I quite. Could we build a, a proper full on longer ball counter attacking? I don't have much luck with it. I'm trying to look at things like, obviously for counter-attacking, you, you want pacey strikers, like the Jamie Vardy's, like a poor man's Jamie, like Jamie Vardy with one leg. That's what we're sort of hoping. He's okay pace, 14 acceleration, decent dribbling as well. Um, what about the others? Kotov, again, good pace. Dribbling's a little bit less off the ball. What's his positioning like? It's not great. I just noticed earlier, is it... Yeah, Makhev is basically a pacifist. He's got one aggression. <laughs> Bless him. Um, could we go? Could we go? Because we have a good selection of central midfielders. When everybody's fit, we've got four really good central midfielders and a couple of them can play DM. So do we go four like this, but just a bit more, le slightly less defensive and a bit. Let's try it. Let's try it, my friends. Right, there we go. I hope you all enjoyed that tactical masterclass. I bet I'm going to get comments like, I've been telling you to do this for ages. Why don't you pay attention? <laughs> right, and as, as I said before, thank you very much for watching. And I will be having a little break now for a week. We will be back next Monday um, to continue. If you need a football manager fix in between, 
and you haven't watched previous journeyman's go back and watch them there's there's you've got things to look forward to like me in a bra like full tits out and stuff you know, which you know you can have that for the wank bank um and various other i won't spoil it but go back watch the older journeyman's if you if you fancy something to watch um, thank you very much. Happy holidays to everyone. Make sure if you fancy a break on Christmas Day, come and watch me stream at 8pm so I can kill you. And I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.